Mara stock is uh, showing a lot of strength within a longer term uh, bullish trend. This trend uh, began sometime last week. So this is uh, probably the fifth uh, street session of gains for marathon, marathon stock. So this is its uh, one second chart currently trading at uh, $19.56. And uh, what we know for sure is that uh, given all of this uh, strength that has uh, been showing for some sessions now, it is now trading at a, a huge, a significant uh, premium to its um, um, short term moving averages, especially it's a 10 day moving average, and it's uh, the deviation, it's the difference between its uh, current price and its uh, 10 day moving average is uh, significantly higher than uh, its standard deviation, which currently stands at right around uh, 1.52 or thereabouts. So, all of these is just pointing to the fact or pointing to the statistical. Um, implication that um, a pullback is expected or a consolidation is expected anytime soon you know and uh, given all of that we have um, this downward projection of uh, the support of uh, 17.47 dollars and then above that we have uh, 21.22.02 dollars so given that we have this um, what looks like a significant um, well a sizable gap between 17.47 and uh, 22.02, roughly four dollars or thereabout. You might be tempted to have a look at uh, maybe it's a 15 minute chart or 30 minute chart. Okay, let's look at a 15 minute chart and see whether there are projections in between those uh, prices. Okay, that is uh, between 17 dollars and some fraction and 22 dollars. So we have uh, one here. We have uh, yeah, 19.87 is um, okay, roughly where uh, right around where it is. So it's something that can print anytime soon. 19.87, but also there's a uh, 19.49. There's even also um, there's also 19.33. Okay, let's uh, see whether we can see higher projections. Let's let's look at the 30 minute chart and see. Okay, no, we don't have anything anything higher. Indeed, there are higher projections. We just want to see whether there's any proj any projection between seventeen and uh, twenty two dollars. We have we have seen one ready from uh, on its um on its uh, yes we have here we have one here nineteen point one three so it, but uh, it's actually trading above that. Uh, let's look at a one minute chart and see what we have on this. Uh, yeah, we have um I, I want to believe it's nineteen point. We have 19.74, 19.74 currently trading at 19.66, downward projection of 19.60. Uh, so yeah, coming back to the one day chart, yeah, as I pointed out earlier on, earlier on uh, it's been showing a lot of strength uh, for some for, for a couple of sessions now. Um, and uh, Bitcoin is also on the move. At, uh, at some point, I want to believe it reached uh, the highs of around 66,000, but we can we can actually find out um, what's what's going on with it now. USD, uh, USD, B, uh, B, let's see, BTC. Can we find it? B, okay, Bitcoin. Let's look at the, yes, let's use the Coinbase one. Okay, this is uh, Bitcoin. It's currently trading at a six six thousand uh, eight seven eight seven eight sixty five. Yeah, and. Um, we have uh, 67,832. This is its uh, daily chart. We have uh, 69,716. And we have uh, 72,812. But uh, marathon is not exactly a perfect correlation to uh, Bitcoin. Sometimes Bitcoin is showing strength and it is declining. Yeah, anyway. Marathon is uh, a stock and um, market participants may be taking profits when Bitcoin is rallying and may uh, be putting back their money when it's it rallying at uh, other points, you know, so it's not um, the correlation is not exactly uh, perfect. It's hardly there or anything like that, you know, so uh, but, uh, you know, project at the moment, statistically, there's a good chance it might um, retrace, you know, um, expect that to happen or a consolidation continue to continue to a, cons a consolidation to occur at this sort of levels or rather between this range I think statistically we have it here 
the probability of it uh, trading between 16.49 and 19.4 uh, is uh, 47.22 so that's a decent uh, uh, probability roughly 47 just roughly 47 percent so that that is uh for it to trade between here and uh here the probability is around 14.22 and uh, what if you want to have a look and uh, see whether you can use uh, these two these two uh, projections 19.22.02 and um 17.47 and then also the standard deviation of 1.52 you might be able to find something there uh let's see 21 22.02 and 17.47 we can't do that and see what the probability is 22.02 and um 17.47 and yeah we still maintain that standard deviation uh, we have um, it's not exactly the best because uh, this is um, this is um, one one the two but both both of them are, are, are prices both of them are prices so um, they're not uh, one is not an average we need to we need to compare we need to differentiate between a price and uh, an average so this is not exactly um the perfect uh, parameters you know then exactly the perfect par parameters so um so we, in other words we, we could just say assuming assuming um 17.47 is the average okay and then uh 22.02 is the target then if that is the case if you want to make those assumptions then you have a 40 roughly 50 percent um likelihood of it uh, trading of uh, the stock trading between that sort of range 17.47 and uh, 22.02 uh, but it, it's not exactly a perfect uh, average and uh, do we have anything we can actually have a look at uh, its um, um, averages we can we don't see anything close to that so anything any price around the uh, 42 17.47 but th these are where the averages are this the moving averages but in any case, I think um, even if you, you're able to determine an average, um, I mean, if you're if you're looking at this projection and you're trying to determine an average, um, a moving average, 16.42 is um, yeah what we have as well. So if you want to use that, 16.42, the 10-day moving average you get is 16.42, uh, and the standard deviation is 15.55. Uh, Can you do that? Can you do that? Uh, um can you do that um statistical uh analysis or calculation uh maybe um if you do that what what will be the essence of that what are you trying to find out in that sort of case you know um would that be what what would the what's the probability that um um if it gets there if it gets to 22.02 um that it's going to remain there yeah it's yeah it's if that's the case then the probability is definitely going to be um up there around the 90 90 percent or there about because um i mean that 22.02 is uh, trading at a is is it is it is it's is, is a premium to 16.42 just as uh as things stand right now and it's the current price of uh, 16 19.64 is a premium to its uh moving average of 16.42 so um yeah in, in the future in future we might be able to uh work out some of these uh, probabilities the probability of it um uh, maybe uh uh rallying to these sort of levels you know, and all that and all that all those kind of all those sort of things you know yeah but um um yeah we might be able to to see whether we can uh, come up with uh, such such things but um uh, just have a look and uh, I'll definitely continue to update you uh, Mara stock on the move once again and uh, thank you very much for watching this video